Hello there. I uh, just put a sack in this pen yesterday. This is Enid. Enid's name is written there, and Helen's name was written, you know, engraved on the cap, and so was um, Jeannie's name. And I, th I really like this sort of uh, marbleized red and black patterned pen. I have a number of them from various companies. Uh, Diamond Metal and Good Service and Century and it was a popular plastic I guess at some point and I had a big drawer full of pens like this. And now they're a smaller drawer of pens like this because I've moved them into their into their quote proper place with other pens of their manufacturer. So the good service pens are with the good service pens and the diamond metal pens are with the diamond metal pens and this one I was going to add to the diamond metal drawer after I made my little movie yesterday and put a sack in it. And as I can see there's still some watery ink left in from when I dipped it in the water to, to write with it yesterday. But anyway, I, I thought, well, I maybe I already have one of these, so let me find which one I like the better, and I will sell one and keep one. So this one was in the drawer, right next to all of its brothers and sisters, and I went down to pick it up, and I picked it up, and I was turning it, and it broke into two pieces, just without any I wasn't doing anything <clears throat> untoward with it. I wasn't manhandling it. I wasn't looking at it cross-eyed even. I was just picking it up out of the drawer and I, I was turning it to see the... turning it with one hand, I think. I must have had two hands because I was using both, both hands, but I was turning them to at the same time. I wasn't torquing them or twisting them. And it broke into two pieces right there, right in front of me. And <clears throat> why did it do that? Why on earth would a perfectly good pen sitting in my drawer suddenly decide to break in half? Do I have little gremlins, little fairies, breaking my pens in the middle of the night when I'm not paying any attention? When I'm asleep? Are they fixing my shoes? Are they... What, was it the cobbler that had the little fairies that did his... I don't even remember. My story time is those brain cells are long gone. But anyway, it was very sad. This is, this happens, how often does this happen? Yes, there are times when you can open your drawer of Waterman 100-year pens and one of them will have turned to powder because of the plastics that the ends of Waterman pens of that era were transparent plastic and they sometimes just disintegrate. They've got a half-life of, I don't know, 40, 40 years maybe, and at some point they're just all going to go away. Um, but rarely do they do what this one did, just break in half. Yes, they break in half when I'm trying to pull the section out, and I'm holding the pen like this, and I'm doing that, and they break. And I can understand that, but, um, I mean, they don't do that very often. Very rarely do they do that, but they have done that. Um, but why did this one break? So, anyway, let's pretend it didn't break for a second. And let's say I had to make this choice of which pen I was going to keep and which I was going to not keep. But I discovered that they're slightly different sizes. And are they different enough to not have been just a person sleeping at the lathe at the factory or were these different models did they did one cost a few 
pennies more than the other because it was a little bit longer. I have a feeling it was Diamond Metal's inability to hire or care, maybe, care about its um, product to, to really know that, or they didn't care, they, you know, okay, this is a little longer than the other one, don't worry about it. There is, in, in the Wall Ever Sharp Gold Seal series of their Greek key pens, their biggest pens they made, the most expensive pens they made, you will line up ten of them in a row, and maybe two will have the gold seal put in the same place as the other one. They're all over the map. They're usually, well, they're all was lined up with the clip, but some of these little gold seals are a little bit lower, and some are a little higher when they are above the clip. This is supposed to be below the clip, by the way. But when they were ab when they're above the clip too, they migrate up and down depending on the whim of the worker. Also, the clip can be up or down quite a bit too. So it's, it's funny that even a pen company as quote reputable as the EverSharp company, why they allowed on their most expensive pen some moron at their workbench gluing the, you know, drilling the little hole and putting in the um, gold seal wherever that person wanted to do it that day. So it did, this did crack right along the area where the barrel was the thinnest. Oops not seeing what I'm doing here, but the little ring that holds the lever in place uh, has an incised line in the barrel to keep it positioned thus, and uh, it was along that line where the barrel is the thinnest that it broke. <sighs> where Where is my black armband? I need to lower the flag to half-mast, and what else do I have to do today? I hate when this happens. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. When a pen breaks in some way. Of course, it's always extra gloomy when a nib breaks, but... Um, I, I'll try to not be sad all day long, and I don't mean to make you sad by thinking about poor, this is A. Anderson, I don't know what A stands for, but that's the name engraved on this one, A. Anderson. Um, hmm, I wonder what A stood for. Amelia Anderson, Andrea Anderson, Annie, Ann Anderson. Um, I know that many of the sophisticated pen collectors in the world would say, why do you even care? I can hear them saying that right now. I got a million of those in my junk box, and they're not broken in half. Um, but I don't care about those people. Yes, I know it's a off-brand company. Yes, I know it's a ladies pen. Yes, I know it probably had a stiff nib. Yes, I know it's engraved. And yes, it's broken in half. 
Now, a lot of sophisticated pen collectors might say, well, now you don't have to pay attention to it finally, Peter. You can just ignore it like we are, we've been doing, because now it's broken in half. But I don't, I don't have that gene to just dismiss something as readily as that. I dismiss things all the time for all sorts of reasons, but not uh, a pen that's lost its life doing nothing. I will see if I can fix this in some way. Sometimes I have had success gluing these things back together. I will probably do that here. Other people I know have built little sleeves of metal that they can put in this half and sticks out enough that they can slide this over and it'll keep it together and secure. Um, all of those and more possibilities abound, but I'm going to just put it back in the drawer with its sister, and it'll sit there, and maybe in time I will forget. Time is heals everything. Uh, time is a healer. Maybe I will forget that it's broken, and... In three years, when I open this drawer again, I will see that it's broken in half, and I'll grieve all over the place, all like, over again. Get out my armband all over again. Instruct the flags to be put down at half-mast. But maybe the pain will be a little, a little less sharp the next time that happens. <sighs> Goodbye, pen. Goodbye, people.